Hi, this is a quick uh, demo of how to build a few different chord progressions using the Tonic School Builder app. So I'll start the app, and here we have the Tonic Grid. I'm going to bring up the keyboard view and the stave view. And to get started, we'll do a very simple chord progression. So I'm just going to pick a random triad on the grid. We've got the F minor. And to, be, to start, I'm just going to use these PRL transformations to try and find something that fits. So let's do an R. So it goes from that F minor to an A flat major. And I might now try a leading tone exchange transformation. And that's already sounding quite nice. And so we want to find something else that fits with that for the last chord. So I picked this triangle because it is, as it's quite close in position to the last triangle. So it's quite likely to sound good with it. So we'll hear that. And even play it back with the play function. So that's quite a nice base basis for our chord progression. And say we wanted to maybe make it a bit more interesting, we can get these chords and we can add maybe a in intonation of that. So add the E flat and now it's an F minor seventh chord. And say, let's make this one sound a bit different as well. We'll add the B flat. So this makes turns it into a seventh chord, the C minor seventh. And that sounds nice, but I might also drop this note down here, give it a slightly different sound. And there we have quite a nice chord progression. So now we're going to try a different way of making a chord progression. This time we're going to use the chord builder down here. And let's say we start with a E major 7th. So we cl click go and it will put it onto the grid for us and onto the first bar. Now we want to try and make a try and find a chord that sounds good with this E major seventh. And let's say that we're kind of stuck for ideas. We're not quite sure what to do. The suggest button down here can be used. It will look at the current chord and it will pick another chord that sounds good in context with it. So I click that and it gives us the B major seventh and it puts it into the, the next bar. So if you click it, it will always put the chord into the next bar. And those chords sound pretty nice together. So I'm going to keep those two and I'm going to do it again. And that's given us another chord, the E major chord. So now we have... And that's already sounding quite nice. So we're going to try and find another chord which kind of ends the progression or resolves it. And you know what, I'm going to add the D flat onto this just to make it slightly more interesting, that chord. And I feel like I want to hear a minor chord to end it. I feel like that's what the natural progression after this chord will sound want to be. And I think this is the kind of chord which I'm looking for. So now we have... And there I was just changing the inversion slightly just to make it sound good in context with the notes in this chord. So you want the same similar uh, pitch of notes in terms of what octave it's in, just to make it kind of go together with the last chord. So we're left with this uh, progression now.
which is a nice sounding progression. So if we want to find some more information about everything that's going on, go to info, and this will give you all the music theory you need to know about the tonics grid and the chords. And if we go to shapes, this shows you the basic shape of all the chords which the app will recognize. So any of these shapes applied anywhere on the grid will give that intonation of the chord with the lighter blue note as its root. So those are two of the ways that I go about creating chord progressions. Um, there are plenty of other different methods you can try out. Get to know the tonics grid and you'll be making chord progressions of your own soon enough. Okay, thanks.